Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I have for you the furry friends tag. Um, now if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or have been watching my videos for a while you will know that I have four fur babies and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one a week over the next month so that those of you that don't really like it don't get sick of seeing them in your feed and those of you that do it keeps it going for a little bit longer so I'm going to do them in the order that they came into my life um, so today we have Harry and Harry is my baby aren't you aren't you you're my precious He's a little bit camera shy, I think. This is his first time on camera properly. And because um, it's all about him, he probably feels a little bit special. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get started. Um, I've got all the questions here on my phone. So the first one is, what is your pet's name? Well, this is Harry and he is a little boy. Uh, what kind of pet is he and what breed? Well, Harry is a dog as I'm sure you can tell, and he's quite heavy, so I might have to put him down. Um, but he's a Bichon cross Yorkie, and um, his mum was the Bichon and his dad was the Yorkie. Go on then, there you go, sit down. So he's a real mummy's boy. Um, how long have you had your pet? Um, I got Harry on the 15th of February, 2008. So I've had him for five years, well, five and a half years. So he's getting into the prime of life, isn't he? Aren't you? He's just sitting here looking at me. I think you can just about see him. There he is. You're a good boy. Kiss. Yeah, kiss my nose. Um, sorry, I'm such a softie when it comes to my animals. Um, how did you get your pet? Um, I went and chose, go on then. Go on then. I went and chose Harry um, for my nana. She said to me, could I go and pick her a puppy out of a litter that had been born, um, telling me that it was for her. So I went along and I picked Harry. I literally, there was three in his litter and I just fell in love with him. He was the smallest, um, not massively so, so you wouldn't necessarily look at him and think he was a runt, but he was the smallest and he just had this little look about him. He was the quietest as well. You're probably gonna hear him snarfing now because he's rolling around on his back. So he's quite fine. He's enjoying stardom. Um, but yeah, so he, there was his brother who was a similar sort of color. So tan and white, but a bit more tan in him. Then there was his other brother who was just all sort of like tan and black. And then there was Harry. And I don't know why, I just looked at him and even though I thought the other one was really cute that was white and tan, there was something about Harry, he just melted my heart. And so I picked Harry and home he came. Um, oh yeah, how did you get your pet? I suppose I should tell the rest of the story. The rest of the story is that um, I took him back to my Nana's and that night she said, oh, he's so attached to you, could you just take him home with you this evening so that um, we get a decent night's sleep and then you can bring him back tomorrow. And I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. Anyway, like, m nothing did I know of this, but my nan had spoken to Richard and he was actually a birthday gift for me and he was going to be my baby. And the next day my nan rang just to see how he was in the morning before I went round there. And she said, well, I've spoken to Richard and um, Richard's glad to have him home. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll be bringing him back later. And she was like, well, why are you doing that? He's yours. And so that was how I got Harry in. That was how I got my first dog. Because up until then, I had only had cats. So that's how I got my little man. Um, how old is your pet? I think I've already said that. He's five and his birthday is the 4th of January. So he's five and up, just over five and a half. Um, what are some of the quirky things about his personality? Um, Harry is a complete mummy's boy. Where we actually got him from in the end, it turned out not to be a very nice place and they'd actually lied to us about a few different bits and pieces and it wasn't until time went on that we kind of realised this and worked out dates and things like that. And Harry is just literally such a mummy's boy. If he's poorly, he wants his mum. If he wants to play, he wants his mum. He's just literally the biggest mummy's boy. He loves his dad and he has got other favourites like his uncle Mark, who he remembers from when he was a puppy. But... That's probably his biggest quirk, that if, wherever I am, Harry won't be far behind. He'll always be by my feet or sat next to me on the sofa. He's always there. Um, his other quirk is that he's obsessed with playing fetch. 
and it can be a ball, it can be his dog that he likes to suck the eyes of, it can be a tuggy, literally anything that you can throw, a stick, he will go and get it and bring it back to you and he will never ever ever get bored of that game. And he's the only one of my dogs that actually likes to play fetch, none of the others are really that bothered. They'll have a play and when they were puppies they were into it but now they are just not bothered whereas Harry continues to be obsessed with playing fetch. Next question. Um, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Um, my relationship with all of my fair babies and especially Harry, it, it's just so special because I got Harry when I was quite poorly. I had um, gallbladder problems and when I first got Harry was when it was all starting. And I can remember one day I was really poorly and Rich was going to work so he took me to my nana's and my mum's and they were looking after me and I can just remember my nan putting me to bed and Harry trotting in and he was tiny at the time. He was probably only, because it was actually on my birthday and he was only, what, two and a half, three months old, three and a half months old. So he was really young. I can just remember him coming in and looking at me and just wanting to be there and I just love the fact that they are so comforting and that it is nice to have somebody that relies on you and no matter what whether I've got makeup on if I haven't got makeup on if I'm having a good day or a bad day they love me regardless and I think that's what's so amazing with pets that they just make you feel so safe um, and secure. What are some of your favourite pastimes with your pet? To be honest every time we go out they one of them will do something that will make me smile so I haven't really got any specific sort of like times that I would say with any of them oh that was particularly good or that was particularly good every single day they all do something that will make me laugh and make me giggle um Harry with his fetch he'll always wait until we've just sat down after dinner and are just about to watch tv and then he'll want to play fetch it's one of those annoying things but it's what makes Harry Harry and it is quite endearing and it will always be there in my mind long after Harry is gone so yeah and with Harry, Harry's quite a poorly dog, he's got epilepsy, he's had colitis, he's had pancreatitis, he has skin allergies, bad ears, um, what else, he's, he's literally lucky to be with us, bless the little cotton socks of him. So with Harry I suppose the biggest thing is that every day we get is kind of a bonus. Um, especially when it's things like when he got attacked recently, it would be Harry, wouldn't it? It had to be Harry. Wouldn't be any of the others, it could only happen to Harry. So I think with Harry, that's probably the one thing I would say is that every day we get is a bonus. And I think there's one more. What are the nicknames that you call him? Um, Harry gets called Harry Bow quite a lot. Um, some people call him H or Hazza. Um, Richard calls him Muttley sometimes, but I probably just call him my boy or baby or Harry, to be fair. That's him shaking now. Um, more ear problems, delightful. Um, but they're probably it really, sort of like Harry H has our baby, mama's boy, that type of thing. So yeah, that is Harry. I'm just going to grab him so that he can say goodbye. Harry, come here. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. As you could tell, he wasn't very far away. <laughs> so once again, this is my Harry bow, my little Harry, and from both of us, bye. I hope you enjoyed the, um, from both of us, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more pet tags, then just keep watching, because they will be coming up shortly. So anyway, from me and Harry, bye.